staying healthy and trying to keep your family healthy is not the easiest task in the world, I know. But one really helpful thing is eliminating toxins from your life. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 ways to reduce your toxic load. Welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of RenewalFitCoach.com. If you have not been here before, I'm a holistic nutritionist and health coach, a personal trainer, a doTERRA wellness advocate, and a beauty counter consultant. So I'm all about holistic health and reducing your toxic load. This is because the toxins in our life, in our home, in our world, play a part in contributing to a variety of diseases and health complications, even things like mental health. Reducing these things helps in reducing our chances of things like getting cancer, having hormonal imbalances, having reproductive issues, having allergies, having skin issues, even excess weight. So let's go ahead and dive into these 10 things that will help you reduce your toxic load. Number one is reducing plastics. So plastics are everywhere. It's hard to really completely get away from them. But one of the ways that they tend to be a little bit more damaging is by constantly reusing water bottles, leaving water bottles in your car when it's hot, reheating foods in plastics. So in order to reduce these, it's pretty simple. You can exchange out some of your plastic Tupperware for glass. You can switch to something like a stainless steel water bottle instead of plastic water bottles. And you can switch to products like personal care products that come in glass packaging instead of plastic packaging. The second tip is to clear the air in your home. So we tend to have all sorts of toxins lingering in the house because we track in dirt, there's dust, there's dirty air filters, things like the heater, dirty electricity. There's just a lot of stuff lingering in our homes that we can't necessarily see all the time. So there's some pretty simple ways to help with this. One is just open up the windows, let some new fresh air in, clear out the air a little bit that way. And then when your windows are closed, you can also diffuse essential oils. So things like lemon or lemon eucalyptus or tea tree oil, there's a lot of different oils that have antimicrobial properties. So you can diffuse these to help clear some of those grimy things from the air and also help to reduce odors. And then also you can keep plants in the house. So plants help to increase oxygen. They also help with absorbing toxins. So go out and purchase a couple of plants you can place strategically around your home to help keep the air clear. The third one is fragrances. Now this one is big because fragrances are everywhere. And these are usually laboratory produced chemicals that smell really nice, right? We love them. They're in our laundry detergents and our shampoos, in our facial care products, candles. They are all over the place. Fragrance goes into everything. So one of the things you can do is switch to cleaner products. So typically the first thing I do when I find a product at the store is I will look on that label and look for words like parfum or fragrance. Those are usually two of the main culprits. This usually means that a bunch of different chemicals have been packaged together in one little word called fragrance, and we don't know what's in there, and the law does not require companies to disclose what those ingredients are, but that usually means there are some toxic chemicals in there. So usually if I see that, I skip that product. So personally, I get my personal care products from Beauty Counter and doTERRA, and I will talk a little bit more about these, but these are two companies who use clean and natural products, and they use essential oils as their source of scent in their products. They never use chemical fragrances in there. The next tip is to eat organic when possible. So unfortunately, a lot of our food is filled with pesticides and hormones and antibiotics and all sorts of chemicals used to either grow plants and foods or used in um, raising and farming animals. So when you can eat organic non-GMO products so that you can reduce a lot of these out of your food. I know this can be tough, so just do it when possible if budget's really tight or you don't always have access to some of these things. Another thing you can do is go to Google and look up Dirty Dozen List. This is a list that's put out every year that gives you basically the top 10 foods that have a lot of pesticides and things like that in them. So those are the ones that you know you should prioritize to eat organic. And then the other ones maybe aren't so important because they probably don't include so many chemicals in them. 
Another way to help clear the air in your house or prevent it from getting as dirty is to leave your shoes outside. So make your home a shoe-free zone where when you come home, you take off your shoes and you leave them in the garage or you leave them on the front porch or you take them off and put them right by the door when you come in rather than tracking all of these different germs, bacteria, dirt, even feces particles. So this is a really simple way to help keep your house much cleaner. The next tip is to switch to clean beauty products and clean personal care products, which I kind of already talked about in fragrances. But most of our beauty products, you might assume they're safe because they're on our store shelves, but that's not the case. We have thousands of chemicals in these products, and the problem is many of us women use makeup and moisturizers and shampoos and all these things every single day. And this is where that toxic load builds up because you're accruing so much through all the use of these products and other things that we're talking about in this video. I personally use Beauty Counter. This is because Beauty Counter goes above and beyond to research ingredients and to ensure that if anything is even potentially harmful to us, they will not use it in a product. So the US only bans like 11 or so ingredients, while the EU bans about 1,300. Beauty Counter, I believe, now bans over 2,000 ingredients from their products. So they are like top of the line standard of clean beauty. So this is what I would recommend. Um, I'll put my website here and in the description below. If you want to shop clean beauty from Beauty Counter, you can just click on that link. It goes directly to my website. And if you have any questions, you can contact me. I also get many of my products from doTERRA, which is a company that's mostly known for essential oils, but they also make lotions and facial care, a variety of personal care products. So that's another great place to go. Again, I'll provide my link in the description and um, on this video so you can visit that. And again, if you need help with figuring out what's right for you, please feel free to send me a message and I'll be happy to give you a consult. And if it's a little overwhelming at first, sometimes it's a little bit much. If you have a full medicine cabinet of beauty products and personal care products to just scrap it all and throw it away. So <clears throat> I would recommend if you don't want to just throw everything out right away is to start with the things that you use the most and which cover the biggest parts of your body. So lotions, body wash, shampoo and conditioner, those things that stay on your body. Um, another one also I would be sure to switch pretty quickly is lip products. So any sort of lipstick, lip gloss, chapstick, these things we tend to lick our lips, we bite our lips, we get it in there when we um, eat food or when we kiss someone. So lip products are one of the first things that I would also recommend switching to because it's so easy to ingest that. Now this next tip is kind of an extension of the previous tip, which is just switching out all of your personal care products. So again, because of various chemicals, fragrance, different things, I would look at swapping out things like toothpaste, shaving cream, deodorant, sunscreen, etc. So again, you can find these things at doTERRA.com, you can find these at beautycounter.com, and more and more you can start to find these online and in stores. So start to swap those out because again, it's not necessarily that one beauty product or one face wash or one perfume is going to completely destroy your health. The problem is that it's the toxic load. It's the constant use of hundreds of chemicals throughout the day that starts to add up and then can contribute to those health problems that I mentioned before. Now, a really good tip for this is to download the EWG Healthy Living app, or you can also just use it on your computer desktop. So this is an app and website and company that does tons of research on a lot of different products and their website will give you information on ingredients in general to help understand why they may be harmful to you or what's not good about them. But the app is really helpful to have on your phone because when you go to the store, if you're having trouble figuring out, is this a good product? Is this, is this safe for me? Is this healthy? What you can do is scan the barcode and it will bring up that product and it will tell you if it is safe or not for you. Um, and it'll break down the reasonings, it will explain what's in there and the risk associated with it. So I've talked quite a bit about personal care products, but sometimes we forget about laundry. And laundry is one of the biggest perpetrators of fragrances that I mentioned before. So swap out your laundry detergent, fabric softener, and dryer sheets for cleaner, 
safer options. As I'm sure you know, when you wash your clothes, they usually smell amazing for like a week or so, right? And we love that smell. But that smell is basically those chemicals that are, they're basically putting a very thin layer of that over your clothes, your bedding, all of that. So it's constantly with you and on your skin. And a lot of times this is what causes um, like skin allergies for children as well as adults. So look at swapping these out. Get a safer laundry detergent. doTERRA is a great option for this. And then for your dryer, instead of using dryer sheets, you can get little wool balls and you can just toss these into your dryer. What I like to do is put a few drops of essential oils on there. That will add a little bit of that nice fragrance, but without all of the chemicals. Very much along these same lines is cleaning products. So our cleaning products, ironically, are supposed to keep our home cleaner and safer and healthier, and yet when you use them, you are basically spreading more chemicals throughout the house. The good news is you can make a lot of your own products at home with things like white vinegar, lemon juice, essential oils, baking soda. You can make um, surface cleaners from this. You can make kind of a soft scrub for your sink, your toilet. There's a lot you can DIY at home, even hand soap. I did do another YouTube video that is called Ditch and Switch. It's a class I did on how to ditch toxic products and how to switch to cleaner ones, and I put several DIY recipes in there. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel if you want more recipes and ideas of how to basically switch out the more toxic cleaning products and a lot of the other things I've talked about and what to swap it out for and how. And if you don't want to DIY it, I get pretty much everything from doTERRA because they smell amazing, there is science behind them that they work. You can also, again, use that EWG app, so when you go to the store, if you're looking for something, just scan to see if something truly is safe and something you want to use in your home. And then number 10 is consider your coffee. So a lot of us drink a lot of coffee every single day, and may not ever really think about what's in there or if it's even healthy for us. So obviously there, you know, there's some issues with caffeine and how much you're drinking, but a lot of coffees, including from your favorite big chain coffee stores, have mold, have toxins, have heavy metals. Um, And so I would highly recommend switching to a coffee that you know is clean and free of the heavy metals, toxins, and mold. The one I use is called Cardiology Coffee and they test for all of these molds, toxins, heavy metals so we know that it is free of those things and it tastes really good and it has a great social mission behind it. And I will put the link for Cardiology Coffee again in the description. So I hope this list of 10 ways to reduce your toxic load has been really helpful to you. If it has, please give it a like and share with someone else who may benefit from it. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Renewal Fit Coach. I post far more frequently there with all sorts of little tips and ideas on how to reduce toxic load, but also just how to improve your health in a natural, holistic way. But for now, I want to give you a few final tips in moving forward with the information that I've given to you. So sometimes it can feel very overwhelming to hear all of this and feel like, Now I have to overhaul my whole life. I have to throw out everything and start all over and where do I even begin? There's chemicals everywhere and toxins everywhere. I know it can be a little bit much. So what I recommend that you do is just focus on reducing your toxic load. So a little bit at a time, you don't have to get rid of every single chemical and toxin in your life and in your world. It's just not possible. But if you can reduce it, that's a huge start and will be huge benefit to you and your family. One way that you might start with this is just pick one or two things off of this list, start there, and once that becomes a habit, then you can add another one. So for instance, taking your shoes off at the front door or in the garage, that's pretty easy. You could start with that one today. And then maybe you want to write a grocery list and decide which foods you're gonna purchase organic this week and which ones maybe you'll try next week or in two weeks. Um, Or you could start with looking at some of your cleaning products or your personal care products. If something's almost empty, maybe it's almost time to purchase it, then that's something you could go online or go to the store and find a a safer option and just start with that. 
and then continue to work your way through this list. You can always come back to this video. I also have this in a blog form on my website at renoafitcoach.com. So if you just want to see it all laid out there for you, you can continue to revisit that or this video to keep you and your family safer and healthier. And as a reminder, if you would like a consult, a wellness consult, to just figure out how to swap out some of these products, which beauty counter products might be great for you, what products you could use from doTERRA to help clean up your home and swap out some of your personal care products. Sometimes these can be a little get, bit confusing knowing where to start and knowing what's right for you. So feel free to reach out at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com and I would be happy to give you a free consult to figure out where to start with this and which products are best for you. Thanks so much for watching and until the next video, blessings on your health and fitness journey.